Hey, what's up everybody? Today I wanted to do something a little bit different. Today I'm gonna be doing some work here in my home gym. Now, if you're like me, and by like me, I mean slightly insane, but also like slightly like need things to be lined up in a certain way. Your house or your apartment or whatever it is has to be cleaned up in order for you to be able to think straight. It's hard to be able to accomplish tasks and goals amongst like chaos in your house, right? And your home gym is no different. It's hard to do workouts. It's hard to stay focused and motivated when there is chaos in your home gym. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to clean up my chaos. I bought something off of Amazon to finally get my stuff off of the floor. And I'm going to show you how well this works at a very, very affordable price. It's actually this thing here. It's called the... <laughs> It's a little bit heavy. The Marcy, uh, it's essentially something for holding your, um, your, your plates, your weight plates and dumbbells. You can kind of see it's got like a thing on the top to hold uh, your dumbbells, your kettlebells. But here's the thing. I got a lot of other stuff to clean up here actually. Um, so we're gonna do that together. Do me a favor, if this, if this video is helpful for you, please hit like on it. Maybe even the subscribe. I do these types of videos and other fitness types of videos several times a week. So real quick, here's an idea of what I've got going on and what I need to clean up. So, I mean, I've got a cat here. The cat does not count. I mean, it sort of counts, but um, behind the cat, I've got one, I've got a bunch of weight plates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine weight plates over here. I've got a couple of dumbbells, and then I've got some of, uh, I'm not even sure what these are called. It's like a push-up thing. That, so I've, I gotta figure out if this is gonna go on there as well. On the other side, what I've got is a lot of stuff. Um, more weight plates, I've got an ab roller, I've got a wall ball, a kettlebell, I've even got a mace sitting back here behind the, the, the um, treadmill that you can't see. I've got myself a box full of like random stuff that's just whatever. And I've got a yoga mat here. So I've got a lot of things here to try to get off the ground. Again, part of my goal here is the feng shui. Is that the right word of like, I want this room to be a little bit more zen, especially for my wife. Sometimes she'll come down here and work out. She'll go up and just say, I had a hard time concentrating because let's be honest, this whole thing's probably for my wife more than it is for me. It's a little bit for me. So I'm gonna put this thing together. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put together. Again, here's sort of the full scope of the room and hopefully this will do uh, a nice job of getting all this stuff cleaned up. I'm gonna put it right here just to create a little bit better space, a little bit better functionality for the room and uh, again, getting this stuff off the ground. So let's get started on putting the Marcy, what's it called again? Marcy Premium, that's just called a rack. It's not very fancy. Let's get rolling. So I'm gonna tell you something automatically. These directions are not gonna be very easy to follow. So you're gonna turn this light down just a little bit so you can see. <laughs> That's pretty self-explanatory. Oh boy. Okay, I am done assembling this. Uh, I had a whole video for you, but the video kept cutting off. It doesn't matter, you don't wanna see me assembling it. Uh, I just messed up several times and had to redo it. So here's the finished product. It took me just under an hour, even with those screw ups to assemble. A um, Couple of things to note on the assembly if you're putting this together yourself. One is the instructions mark a lot of these things with numbers, especially these two kind of side uh, leg railings. They call them number one and number two or something like that. I found no actual numbers on the units themselves. They're actually letters. So that caused a little bit of confusion at the beginning and I had to undo some things because it just wasn't clearly marked. So I had to guess and then I guessed wrong. Uh, other than that, everything pretty much looks the way and feels the way I expected. The only downside, the only issue that I ran into really uh, with as far as like it fitting together properly is on the very last peg on the very bottom here, the screw that goes in there 
does not want to go in all the way. It's almost like the inside threading on that is, is not correct. I'll be able to fix that with a different pair of pliers and a little bit better crescent wrench or whatever this thing is called, hex wrench. Uh, this one was not a very good one. It did not fit into the screws nearly as tight as it probably should have. Um, but I'll be able to fix that with a different set of pliers. Other than that, very sturdily put together. And one of the things, you know, I really wanted to kind of watch for on this was there's going to be a lot of weight on this. You know, the sturdiness of it, you know, what it's going to look like here. Uh, with me shaking it, yeah, it's moving a little bit, but nothing's going to be shaking it. Things are just going to be sitting on it. There's no tilt whenever I kind of push on it either direction. Um, so the weights are going to be fine. Now, what's interesting to me is on the picture, it has a bunch of kettlebells here on the top rack. And I wasn't sure what the top rack was going to look like as far as the width of the rack because I've only got one kettlebell, but I got a bunch of other stuff that I wanted to put in. And I'm very happy with what this is. It's about uh, about seven inches or so um, across. It's got some sort of like matting or like almost like a sandpaper type thing in here. The sides of this are curling up a little bit, but they just stick back down. It's got a little sticky adhesive under it. So that's fine. So what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna be able to put several things in here uh, not just kettlebell. So very excited about that, uh, what this ended up turning into. Um, so now my next step is it's assembled. Uh, I'm going to clean all this junk up and then I'm going to put all my stuff on here. Take it maybe a before and an after picture and uh, let's get it all put together and get this floor cleaned up and find ourselves some gym zen. Is that a thing? That's probably not a thing. Let's get to it. Okay, we are assembled. We are in place. Um, I've moved everything already over onto the unit. Let's take a quick look um, here at what we've got going on. So a couple of things, I wasn't able to get everything on here that I originally had hoped. Uh, that was probably just not wise thinking or unreal expectations on my behalf. In fact, so I had this box uh, of stuff and honestly, this is just making me realize I should pitch this stuff. So, you know, still learned a lesson from that. But let's take a good up close look at how everything is laying on here now. Okay, so a lot of things actually end up kind of going on here better than I originally thought. You can see here I've got the wall ball, I've got the kettlebells, I've got the push-up things. All the sort of odds and ends stuff fit nicely on here. I probably couldn't get anything else, but uh, these were pretty big. Something that was kind of a nice bonus is I've got this big uh, metal mace, and it actually fits nicely in between the rungs there. Gives me a place to put that as well. Now something that's kind of unique, we have some of these smaller, they're kind of older dumbbells. Um, but for smaller hands, um, and even these Reebok, which are not necessarily older, but smaller grip in the middle, these don't fit all the way over the two bars at the top. They still fit, they're fine. They're not going anywhere, but it's a little bit of an unusual fit for some of these smaller handles. Now these normal size uh, dumbbells, those all fit beautifully as expected. Kind of neat too, take something like this, it fits right there in the middle. Now, as far as the weight plates on the side, again, we had a lot of weights going on here. On both sides, I filled it up to the brim. I could not get any more weights on here, but that works for me because this is all I've got right now. So, I mean, this has been basically exactly what I wanted it to be. Um, I got everything off the floor that I wanted to. I got some extra space for whenever I get a few more dumbbells here, but, um, and it's sturdy. It's not really moving whenever I shake it either direction, there's no chance of tipping, nothing going on there. So uh, a nice quality, sturdy um, uh, setup here to get the stuff off the floor and to get a little bit more organized. So that is it. That is my review, my unboxing and my uh, placement of the Marcy um, rack, weight rack. I'm not sure exactly what you call it. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below to the Amazon listing in case you're interested in getting yourself a little bit of a uh, uh, feng Shui. I'm definitely not saying that right, but if you want to get organized a little bit in your home gym, it's a great affordable way to do that. It's not going to be your um, your rack that ends all, you know, you're probably going to end up getting more racks later, but for a starter rack, a beginner rack, a good quality rack, um, this is definitely recommended. If I was going to rate it out of five stars, probably a four and a half, and the only reason I didn't do five was because of that stupid screw at the end that took me extra effort at the very, very end to get it in. But uh, with another plier, set of pliers, I was able to tighten it up. Everything's good. Um, it's doing what it's supposed to do. So thanks y'all so much for watching. Very much appreciated. If you would, if you find this helpful, please hit like on it. Maybe even subscribe. 
I do these types of videos and other types of videos all week, it seems like. So that's it. Thanks, y'all, so much for watching. I'm going to go tell my wife. She's going to be very excited about this. Peace out.